In the 19th century, Flea Town, situated halfway between Milford and Georgetown on Old State Road in Broadkill Hundred, was a crucial rest point for stagecoach travelers. Given the 16-mile distance, the journey took two days on a rutted track through dense underbrush. This modest settlement, characterized by Millaway White's Inn and Samuel Warren's Tavern, thrived on the stagecoach traffic. Flea Town was essentially a frontier town, offering basic accommodations far from luxury. John M. Clayton, a frequent traveler who later became U.S. Secretary of State, shared a notable tale about a gray gander who quote tended bar at Warren's Tavern. In the proprietor's absence, the gander's loud screeches would summon him from the fields to serve customers. Both establishments fiercely competed for the stagecoach trade, offering clean beds and appetizing fare. Warren's Tavern, however, stood out for its nocturnal revelries, which were nostalgically recalled as peaches and honey by retired Superior Court Judge Charles M. Cullen in 1895. When White died in 1832, Warren bought and shuttered his establishment. Despite being renamed Federalsburg, the town's decline was inevitable. The advent of railroads diminished the importance of stagecoach travel, leading to a dwindling customer base for Warren's business. By his death in 1843, there were no buyers to continue his venture. Federalsburg's fate was sealed when the Delaware Railroad completed its Ellendale station two miles away, signaling the end of an era for this once bustling stopover.